sensations on the match or after the match? Um, the biggest sensation or the lack of sensation I had was when I found out they don't sell booze here. <laughs> Not in America anymore, my friend. Welcome to Spain. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised by that. Well, and sensations and thoughts on the match? Um, it was awesome. It was my first real football game in Spain and it doesn't compete to anything back home. I really need to learn the chance because I wanted, I, I kept hearing like ole ole, but really I don't think that was it. I wish I could teach you a chant right now. I actually don't know the chance. <laughs> so, but thoughts on the football. How did you think they played? Um, I thought they had a lot of chances early on, but they didn't bury it. Um, I think it was ben, Benzema when he beat the goalie and he kicked it over. That was an embarrassment. That was an embarrassment. That's a never. Yeah, I, I mean, I've seen kids, I don't know, that's the worst miss I've ever seen in my life. I, who would have thought I would see it at a Real Madrid game? That's true. I mean, I guess that just goes to show you can mess up at any level. But he did put one away later in the game. I will give him credit. That's true. And so, did you think it was a little bit disorganized? How did you feel about their their formation, their organization? I felt like in the first half they were a little disorganized and they didn't take them seriously. But in the second yeah. half, the second half, the other team just got way too tired and then Real Madrid could just execute whatever they wanted to do. That's true. And it did help that they had a red carded yeah, player yeah, yeah, yeah. and they were playing down. They, they, once that red card came, it was pretty much game over. That's true. You can't beat Real Madrid at home um, down a man, especially unless if you're Barca or something like that.